All right, y'all, so base is coming. I believe that it's absolutely inevitable and it's going to destroy Solana. Now, I think that Solana is actually doing a pretty good job of destroying itself, to be fair, but um, yeah, we'll jump into it. We'll jump into some of my thoughts and, and why I believe the things that I believe, but I believe that there's a huge opportunity jumping into the base network, and especially at this current stage, because it's, it's kind of just getting started. They haven't even really had their big push yet, which is going to come. Like, it's definitely going to come. I think that this this is going to be big. This is probably going to be one of the biggest things that goes on this bull run. I believe base is going to be one of the biggest opportunities of the entire bull run. Now, I'm currently on Solana. I've made a lot of money this bull run on Solana. So I, I definitely believe in Solana as well. I believe that there is some opportunity and some potential on Solana, but I also see the bad side, the negative side. Everyone on Solana is just degenerate gamblers. Like, that's really what it is. You just... You just put money into something and hope for the best. That's that's literally how Solana works. And then you got stuff like Pump Fund. Everything is getting rugged. Like everything gets rugged, except for if you're in that if you're that one percent who gets into a project that don't get rugged immediately and it goes up to uh, you know decent levels. Now I mean you can use bots and stuff and you can kind of mitigate your risk as much as possible and get and and kind of win a little bit more than you lose and things like that, but everyone's not doing that most people are just trying to jump in trying to grab something hold it and they're just getting screwed over and wrecked it's like and then the people who are learning how to do it you're just using these bots and trying to get quick flips make some quick money it's just gambling it's a freaking casino and i don't believe that that's that's sustainable because it's not a it's not a casino even in a good way like it's a 50-50 chance whether you get rugged or not. It's not just about if, if the project is going to last, if the community is real. You don't know if you'll be able to, like, they can freeze your assets. So if you buy a coin, they won't, they can't, they'll let you, they won't let you exit it. They won't let you sell it. Like, there's so many different things that can go on and go wrong when investing on Solana. I think that that's, that's pretty much just helping it destroy itself. But the reason that I'm on it and the reason that I didn't dive into anything on Ethereum that heavily it's the fees. Like, nobody wants to pay those fees. And it's not the fees right now I'm thinking about. Like, $25, $30, $40. Uh, okay. I mean, I don't want to pay that. But, you know, okay. Depending on the investment, right? But at the point where the bull run really takes off and it goes crazy, bro, like, these fees can hit like $1,000, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm good on that. I, I'm good. Like, I'm cool. You know, so... That's that's one of the biggest reasons that I don't go hard on Ethereum. A lot of those guys over there, it's just these are guys who got into Bitcoin early and they have that Bitcoin money. So thousand dollar fees here. And to be fair, if you if you made like ten thousand dollars, it's worth the thousand dollar fee. But I mean, listen, that's just a, a much larger pond to, to be playing in. And and that's why it's been it's it's just been easier to enter into Solana. You you get you get Solana for less than two hundred dollars and you can actually play the game. You can you can get in there and try to make some money. You got all these people clickbaiting and oh turn ten dollars to a hundred thousand or turn ten dollars to a million or turn zero dollars to to what a hundred million or so like you got all these crazy challenges and all the and really the entire network is just controlled by a bunch of cabals. It's it's, it's controlled by a bunch of groups and factions of people just out here. It's just a whole uh, network where you, it's it's a whole side of, it's, it's just straight insider trading, essentially is what I'm trying to say. It's all insider trading. That's, that doesn't, it's not really regulated, so it's fine, I guess. But yeah, so the gamble is, are you jumping into a token controlled by the cabal that actually wants to take it somewhere, or are they just trying to get your money real quick and get out? You, you, like, you can't sleep comfortably in most projects on, on um, Solana. Like that's just that's just how the platform goes. Now, moving into base, which is what this is really about. I didn't want to make this video just completely just trashing Solana, but I needed to add some context as to why I feel that Solana is first off destroying itself, making it very easy for base. Now, when it comes down to base and the money and the opportunity that's going to be coming to base, what you have to realize is Solana has been on a tear. Solana has been making a lot of people money. It's been doing very, very well. That's why we are on Solana. That's why we're, you know, that's why we've been here making our money. But 
the ETH people ain't been making no money this bull run. What well, obviously they've been making money, but they ain't been making. You know, it's not the same. Like Solana stuff has been pumping, blowing up. ETH has not had that same experience to the same extent, uh, and I think that it will. I think that it's going like once ETH, like usually the bull run, the like Ethereum takes off. Like Bitcoin kind of like just goes, like does its thing, but then Ethereum just takes off and takes over and everything, like altcoins start to pump, alt season. Like everything just starts to pump and go crazy. I think that that's when the Ethereum people are going to eat. And I think that they're going to be using the base network to do it. Now Now there's no fees or, or the fees are very mem uh, minimal, similar to Solana. So it's affordable for people. People can come jump on the base network, enjoy these meme coins, enjoy some of these other projects. You can actually, you know, you can actually get that Solana feel, but it's, it's more, I feel like the guys on Ethereum, these are people with big money, real money. So they're more likely to hold these projects. Now don't get it twisted. There's still going to be people rug pulling and, and like that, that happens everywhere. It's going to happen everywhere. But I believe it's a higher quality of buyers and holders on the Ethereum network. I, I, I just, it's, these guys have, ha, these guys on Ethereum are a lot of guys from Bitcoin. Like they came from Bitcoin. They're, they're using Ethereum for that opportunity. Like these are guys with real money who's fine holding things, who's fine letting things go up. They're not just here trying to pump and dump everything. Like most of those guys have real money, so they don't have all day, every day to be sitting around pumping and dumping stuff. It's like a lot of these people on Solana are trying to come up. They're trying to come up scamming. They're trying to come up. Like it's just, it's a whole different type of environment. It's a completely different type of environment. One is more polished and established, even though base is new, it's still, it's Ethereum. It's Ethereum, it's just a different, you know, a different solution that that's, brings a lot more value to the average and the smaller guy. Um, but obviously, whales and stuff would still enjoy having less fees and less things to pay as well. And that's why I believe a lot of money is going to flow into base because they got to bring that money somewhere for this bull run. And I believe that base is where it's going to be at. Base is where the masses are going to be. If you want that mass money, the biggest money opportunity, Listen, a lot of little people, like I know I know whales have a lot of money, but a lot of little people together adds up to a lot of money. So if these whales want to really make these massive returns, they want to be where not just other whales can afford to be in, but all the little people as well. They need they need the little people to help push this, build it and make it a big name and all of this stuff. And 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 you know, obviously pump it, make more money. Like that's that's what this is all about, especially when it comes down to the meme coin area. Like when it comes down to the meme coin sectors of this, it's just purely about community. It's community driven. And I believe that I believe that it's more likely to have strong, real, genuine communities on Ethereum because that's how most people on Ethereum already think than it is for Solana. Solana is really becoming that place where it's just it's it's hit or miss. It's like you expect to get screwed over. It's, it's just people don't have high expectations for Solana. We deal with it because we just we, we know the opportunity. We know that you can make some good money here. It's like you just know you can make some money there. But I believe that base is going to have that plus is going to be safer. It's going to be new, new, newer um, investor friendly or whatever you call people jumping into meme coins. Because I like Dijons like. It's not, it's not really investing. That's not investing at all. Like what's happening on Solana is not investing. Um, so yeah, man, I, I believe that base is going to take over this bull run and we're about to see some amazing things. I'm definitely looking forward to it, but let me know if you all agree. Let me know if you disagree. Let me know some of your thoughts and logic behind some of the things that you think and feel about this little topic, this little base, base versus Solana debate. Now, me saying that I think that um, base is going to take over and completely dominate this bull run. It's not me saying that Solana is going to die or this is a Solana killer or anything like that. That's not what I believe at all. I think Solana is going to do very, very well. I think that a lot of people are going to make some money on Solana. The thing is, it's a shot in the dark what's going to make some money. If you get in Tate early or Daddy early, if you get in, in Mother early, like if you get in some of these things at the right time, like you can you know you can really make some serious gains here but most of the people who like especially with all the celebrity coins during the celebrity time 
bro that was just straight inside information they 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 were talking directly to the celebrities they were the ones the communities was literally the ones organizing it so all the bigger guys was in and by the time the average person got in everyone else was already in and stuff like that and then you didn't know which celebrity like the freaking guy from um nigeria complete rug pull bro complete scam like that that was crazy um it, and thinking thinking on it a little bit like i probably shouldn't have went into that in the first place like come on now like but anyway i mean this is not to sit here and trash any token or project i just wanted to to give my opinion on the fact that i think that base is going to be taking over this bull run um i think that there is going to be a place for solana i think that more work on solana definitely needs to be done Something needs to be done about the way that things are operating. I think Pump Fund is helping kill Solana as a whole. Like Pump Fund, it was it was a cool idea. It was a great idea. I think the execution is something, something's just not right going. Like it shouldn't be so easy to rug pull. Now, I don't if they stop that. See, this is this is where it's kind of tough. I'm not a crypto expert, but I feel like if you stop the ability to rug pull, that is that still decentralized it seems like that's being controlled you're controlling what people are able and allowed to do but so maybe not even just controlling people and stopping people from rug pull pulling but make somebody coming up and being innovative and making it easier to spot these potential rug pulls like you know I, i've seen some bots where to tell you if the if the liquidity pool has been burned and, and all of this stuff like you'll you'll be able to see if the contract is renounced and things like that but that even that still doesn't help it doesn't even having locked liquidity like none of nothing really helps you know so it has to be more innovation to prevent pump fun and this this current ecosystem from being what continues to thrive because i don't believe that that the way that that is working will continue to thrive i think that it might for this bull run people still got to make their money people are still going to gamble i mean it's been ups and downs it's part of the game but I think that that game has to be better. And I believe that the Ethereum side of things is going, they have the caliber of people and the caliber of money to make the Ethereum side far better than Solana is. Like it's some, don't get it twisted. There's some heavy hitters over on Solana as well. But listen, Ethereum is a different beast. They got a different type of money there. These people have been in multiple different bull runs. Like, and the, the mindset of the people that I talk to, the whales that I talk to who are over on Ethereum, they would not even, like Solana getting hacked and stuff all the time, they would not even put their money on Solana. They don't wanna go through the process of having to go through an exchange and and to get over to Solana. Like they don't wanna have to do all of this stuff. They they just, they'll, they'll, they'd rather just stay with Ethereum. So that's why I, that's, this is why I believe, and, and speaking of whales who think this way and understanding this is how people, like OGs in the game with all this money, this is how they're thinking. This is why I believe that we're gonna see some, you know, a huge push when it comes down to base because they wanna eat too. They wanna make that money too. Obviously they have all this money to be on Ethereum and doing all this stuff. Bro, they, they wanna eat too, bro. Like they wanna make their money. Solana has had its time. They wanna have their time too. So I, I suspect some very, very big pushes in the direction of base is coming, coming soon. So I'd, I'd recommend looking into some projects, diving in, getting some information about some things. We'll be talking about some things here on the channel. So if you wanna stay updated on some of the stuff that I'm looking at, some of the stuff that I'm in, some of the stuff that I think may be a good opportunity, just stay here. I also, in real time, tell people what's going on as far as what I'm doing in the Patreon. So if you wanna check out the Patreon, that is an option in the description. It's not a requirement at all. I will still be making valuable content here on the channel. Um, but yeah, that being said, thanks for watching. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.